Qatar is one of the safest places in the world. Both visitors and residents have the opportunity to experience the welcoming and friendly nature of Arab culture. Like anywhere else, respecting local traditions and practices allows you to enjoy the true essence of the host country, giving you a better travel experience. Tourist visas are available in entry for citizens of 33 countries. The cost of visa for a month is 100 Qatari rials per person and an additional 50 Qatari rials per companion registered on your visa. Tourist entry visa is available on arrival for residents of the GCC states. You can also apply for a joint tourist visa for Qatar and Oman. Business visa, you can avail of two types of business visa, a 72-hour visa on arrival and one that you have to apply for in advance that can be extended. Family visit visa. Expatriates with family status can sponsor parents and siblings for a visit of up to six months. Men and women should dress modestly as a courtesy to both Qataris and Muslims. Swimsuits and beachwear are acceptable at the hotel beaches, don't forget sunscreen, but it is not appropriate to show too much skin in other public areas. Tops should cover the shoulders and upper arms and skirts or shorts should fall to or below the knee. Women are not obliged to cover their hair. Visitors should be thoughtful of their clothing, particularly in the holy month of Ramadan. The extreme heat and high humidity of summertime means lightweight fibers are advisable. Clothes made from wicking, high-tech polyester materials are invaluable. Covering up susceptible parts of your body whilst outside, they will also prevent sunburn. However, a jumper or wrap may be needed inside malls, cinemas and restaurants, as the air conditioning can be fierce. Winter time can be chilly, especially in the evenings, and there is also a chance of rain, so coats and closed shoes will be useful. The best time to visit Qatar is between October and April, when the temperature dips. The coolest months are December, January and February. The high temperatures, touching 50 Celsius degrees in July-August, coupled with a 90% humidity restricts outdoor activities during summer, but there is still plenty to do within many of Qatar's well-fitted indoor facilities. The many exhibitions at the Qatar's offering of museums and art galleries, its luxury spa and hospitality facilities, and late-night visits to the desert and beach provide enough entertainment for the summer months. The cooler months are ideal for outdoor activities and to explore Qatar's many beaches, parks and dunes. Good-natured bargaining is a way of life in the Arab region and it can be quite enjoyable if you have the patience to see it through. Try and you'll see that vendors enjoy the banter that the whole process involves. While visiting souks, you are generally not expected to pay the initial asking price. However, bargaining does not apply to all retail shops in Qatar. Stores at the malls and boutiques work on fixed price basis. Souk Wakif. At any time of day, Souk Wakif is always bustling with people walking around the alleys, window shopping or enjoying their shisha with friends and family at restaurants. It provides an excellent place for people to gather, shop for traditional knickknacks, spices or just enjoy a good meal. It has a number of boutique hotels located around its premises that are part of the Souk Wakif boutique hotels. There are also stables for horses and camels at the souk. Restaurants specializing in cuisines from different parts of the ME and A region are located all along the souk, with international cuisines such as Malaysian, French and Indian. Souk Wakiv being an Oredo hotspot also allows visitors to log onto the web with free wireless internet. Live performances and seasonal festivals with street artists and traditional folk troops make it a one-of-a-kind cultural bazaar in Qatar.
Villaggio. Villaggio is one of Qatar's largest malls with over 220 stores, including a large food court with a variety of restaurants and cafes serving different cuisines. There is also Via Domo, a special section for luxury brands. The mall is themed to resemble the city of Venice, completed with a 150 meter long canal and a gondola boat ride. A 13 screen IMAX cinema shows movies in 3D. Gondolania, a theme park for kids, offers rides and games for children of all ages along with an ice rink and Qatar's first 4D theater. French grocery store chain Carrefour maintains a presence here too. Museum of Islamic Art The stunning Museum of Islamic Art, designed by I.M. Pei, famed for his modern wing of the Louvre in Paris, is an icon for art, culture and heritage, housing precious works from more than 200 years of Islamic civilization. The Museum of Islamic Art is dedicated to reflecting the full vitality, complexity and diversity of the arts of the Islamic world. It is a world-class collecting institution which preserves, studies and exhibits masterpieces spanning three continents and 13 centuries. As a center for information, research and creativity, the museum aims to reach a wide global audience and serve as a hub for dialogue and cultural exchange. Representing the full scope of Islamic art, the collection includes manuscripts, ceramics, metal, glass, ivory, textiles, wood and precious stones. Collected from three continents, including countries across the Middle East and reaching as far as Spain and India, the museum's artworks date from the 7th through the 19th century. The pieces represent the diversity found in Islamic heritage and are of the highest quality. The collection is exhibited on two floors of galleries that encircle the atrium of the museum. Visitors journey through time and across regions as the galleries are dedicated to stylistic or historical themes. 
The museum is composed of a five-story main building and a two-story education wing, which are connected across the central courtyard. The main building's angular volumes step back progressively as they rise around the 50-meter high central domed atrium. The dome is concealed from outside view by the walls of a central tower. A sheet of glass rises to a height of 45 meters on the north side of the museum, offering views of the Gulf and West Bay area of Doha from all five floors of the atrium. Activities Get up, get out and do something! Just about any day of the year you can find something fun, informative and healthy in Doha. Qatar has a wealth of leisure and recreational activities. From jogging outdoors along the Cornish waterfront where traditional Dow boats wait to pick up their passengers to enjoying the many parks Doha has to offer, Qatar is a place where visitors and residents alike can find a range of healthy indoor and outdoor activities to help keep fit. Qatar's five-star hotels offer world-class and award-winning spas for beauty treatment and fully equipped gyms for fitness trainers. Doha is home to many lush green areas and parks that offer recreation and relaxation. From the perfectly manicured corniche to the 88 hectare Aspire Park, visitors will find a spot to relax under in the shade of trees or by the water, walkways to enjoy or jogging treks to burn calories on.
Aspire Park. The park at Aspire Zone offers not just a space for long walks and picnics, a large lake with ducks and geese at the further touch of nature. A large lake with ducks and geese at the further touch of nature that visitors can enjoy with small-scale cafes and a variety of trees adding to the aesthetic appeal of the landscape. The park has a family-only rule. Aspire Park can be a good getaway after a long day of shopping at the neighboring Villaggio and Hyatt Plaza malls. It is also an excellent option for runners since the park has a 1.6 km jogging track. Parking is freely available around the area too. The park has a 24-7 security patrolling including a network of CCTV cameras and a visitor information center. Aspire, a sports paradise. Aspire Zone is a 240 hectare property that houses international standard sports stadium, medical facilities, education services and sports academy, mosque, sports club, retail areas and parkland. Located approximately 8 kilometers from Doha's central business district, the complex was designed for the 2006 Asian Games. Aspire is also an academy for sports excellence to discover and develop sports talents, transforming athletes in world-renowned champions. Trainees benefit from the latest knowledge and technologies with state-of-the-art facilities and renowned specialists in a dedicated Aspathar Health Center for Athletes. Qatar attracts the biggest sporting event in the world, not least the World Cup 2022, Asian Football Cup and Asian Games to name but three. Visitors have the opportunity to stay and watch some of the world's most exciting sports events in football, tennis, golf, sailing, powerboarding, cycling, motor racing, desert trekking and many more. In Qatar, there are also opportunities for nearly every sport that visitors can experience and enjoy during their stay. Qatar offers it all, from bowling to cycling, dune bashing to sand skiing, football to rugby and falconry, golf to ice skating, horse racing to camel racing, horse riding to jet ski, motorsports to water sports, tennis to swimming, snooker to boating on anything from sailboats to traditional dows to luxury yachts. Then you can kayak, dive or water ski in the beautifully clear and clean blue waters off Qatar's shores.
the Torch Doha Hotel. At 300 meters high and with 360 degrees panoramic views across Doha, the Torch is haven for discerning visitors from sports enthusiasts and business leaders to health and wellness seekers. Currently, the tallest hotel in Qatar, the Torch, is the centerpiece of Doha's majestic sports city, Aspire Zone. All rooms and suites are equipped with iPad-based in-room solution which offers guests customized in-room controls such as order from in-room dining, ceiling and wall lights control, curtain operations, room temperature control, access the internet on iPad and TV, listen to music and radio stations, gas check-in and history cleanup, set pre-arrival requests, read online newspapers and access hotel account. In addition, rooms feature a unique mood lighting system featuring 12 different colors, interactive 40-inch and 60-inch LED TVs. Guests will avail of complimentary mini-fridge amenities and Wi-Fi, both bathtub and shower facilities, espresso machine, tea and coffee facilities and a safe box. The Torch Doha is located on al Wab Street. 30 minutes north of Qatar International Airport and 20 minutes away from the city center. Guests at the hotel have private walkway access to Doha's largest shopping mall, Villaggio. The Torch Doha prides itself on the caliber of its cuisine. Our talented chefs offer a sophisticated experience drawn from the very best of international flavors. Proud to be part of Doha's sports city, Aspire Zone, our hotel is not serving alcohol. 360 is the only revolving restaurant in Doha, located on the 47th floor, offering a breathtaking panorama. A must-see for any visitor, the restaurant serves delicious cuisine and chef's signature dishes, a la carte menu, set menus available. Open every day for lunch, from 12 to 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and dinner from 7 to 11 in the evening. Flying Carpet is an all-day dining restaurant, which combines modern design with live cooking international cuisine. The restaurant's live cooking stations create a unique interaction between service and guests. Open for breakfast buffet from 6.30 in the morning till 10.30. Lunch is from midday till 3.30 in the afternoon. Dinner is from 7 to 10.30 in the evening. The Four Level Health Club offers superb facilities to infuse you with energy for the whole year. During your wellness journey, you can avail of cantilevered swimming pool on the 19th floor, steam and sauna with modern finishing, gym with state-of-the-art techno gym equipment, jet showers featuring different jet setup and foot massage area, fitness club instructors always on hand for advice and assistance. Qatar has established itself as one of the region's cultural capitals, hosting major international events. Qatar is also home to the finest cultural landmarks, some even dating back to a thousand years, demonstrating the nation's rich history and culture. In addition, Qatar has a series of world-class museums that house some of the world's finest art collections. Katara Cultural Village Katara Cultural Village is the focal point for arts and culture in Doha and has art galleries and amphitheaters for opera, drama and concert performances as well as restaurants and a beach and water sport facilities.
Qatar Racing and Equestrian Club. The Racing and Equestrian Club was established in 1975. Sheikh Mohammed bin Faleh Al Thani is chairman of his board of directors. Mr. Sami Jassim Al Boanain is the general manager of Qatar Racing and Equestrian Club and secretary general of REC board of directors. Located in New Raya and Doha, it has the mission of developing thoroughbred and purebred Arabian horse racing events, organizing Arabian horse shows and encouraging horse owners to own the best horses and to develop horse breeding. Thanks to the state-of-the-art facilities, Qatar Racing and Equestrian Club is one of the most enviable horse training centers in the world. Racing events take place every Thursday from October to May with over 40 race meetings held annually since 1975. Under the kind patronage of His Highness the Emir, more and more attention is increasingly paid to the equestrian sport. The number of equestrian-related facilities and arenas has been on the increase as such facilities match their international counterparts. Since 2008, Qatar Racing and Equestrian Club has become the official sponsor of the weekend of Qatar Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe, which is held in Longchamp, Paris, during the first weekend of October. Qatar Racing and Equestrian Club will be the official sponsor of this prestigious racing event till 2022. One of the richest races on turf in the world, Qatar Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe attracts over 1 billion television audience every year besides more than 70,000 spectators at the long jam. There is a sand track and a turf. There are also show arenas where horse shows and national championships are held as well as grandstands for spectators. The Qatar Racing and Equestrian Club stables have been equipped with all that is necessary for horse care. The Qatar Racing and Equestrian Club has appointed professional vets for horse veterinary care. Qatar. The Pearl is home to a number of luxury and upscale designer brand boutiques, specializing in a variety of high-end brand boutiques such as Alexander McQueen, Roberto Cavalli, Diptyque, Alfardan Jewelry, Chloe, Bottega Venata, Cheriol, Stella McCartney, as well as many others. There are a few boutiques by independent designer as well, such as the Vanity Room. In addition to shopping, the Pearl also offers a plethora of dining options with a number of cuisines including Indian, Mexican, Italian, French and American.
Natural landmarks. With the sun shining every day and a surprisingly rich ecology, Qatar offers an engaging natural environment to explore. The surrounding desert provides a great deal of interest and adventure with such natural landmarks as the Dal Al Misfir, desert roses, and the singing sand dunes. The singing sand dunes, 40 kilometers southwest of Doha. There are certain conditions in which the movement of sand grains can create a low murmur or singing, a phenomenon often reported by desert explorers. Qatar is fortunate in having sand with the right abrasive qualities in an area that also experiences the necessary wind and moisture conditions to create this wonderful, if weird, effect. While the singing occurs naturally, it can be triggered by sliding down the face of the dune or running along its crest, whereupon each footstep creates a humming that can not only be heard but also felt as a vibration through the feet. Qatar Peninsula has beaches galore with a 563 km long sandy coastline with numerous small islets, sandbars and reefs. We will show you the most well-known beaches, but you can gain access to the sea wherever you want. Just keep in mind not to leave any litter behind you. Many of Qatar's 5-star hotels also have lovely sandy beaches, but if you are not staying at the hotel, there may be a charge. Enjoy relaxing, swimming or any water sports on Qatar's sparkling shores with their exceptionally clear and clean blue water. Kor al Adaid, Also known as the Inland Sea, this breathtakingly beautiful area surrounded by crescent-shaped sand dunes is one of Qatar's finest treasures and a prime tourism asset. A shallow tidal lake with a narrow outlet to the sea the many loped coral adide lies between Qatar and Saudi Arabia and has shores in each country. Four-wheel drive vehicles are necessary and only experienced drivers should attend the journey. Alternatively, local tour operators organize day trips and overnight camps, providing exhilarating drives along the dunes with barbecues, entertainment and the opportunity to ride camels or sand ski.